I don't know what's with this part here. I think it's probably some oscillator or capacitor and chips bunk. Better leave it as it is. I'm just trying to read the part number from there. I think we got it. Chips bank 58M2093 or CR. I'm not sure. I have to zoom in and see it later. But otherwise, if this chip is not squashed too much, I don't know here. Ah, this is. It's just. It's just from this part here. Just that. So it's okay. The chip should be okay. I don't see rust on the pads here. Maybe a little bit there. So, more alcohol and wipe it. Okay, I'll remove the USB connector and I'm gonna be back. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna record this part because it's gonna be taking some time, but basically, desolder these four, desolder these four pads. And then <clears throat> there is this, this here that needs to be removed. And I will do that only when the whole thing is dry. I could do it now. Actually, I could try to record it. Let's see. Okay, let's try. Have some solder here, the soldering iron, and the, the USB stick. That's the USB. This is the USB. Okay, I'll try to use this tool to make a hole there and. I will try to use this female connector, this is all I have. I could put a cable on it, but I'm just going to do this like a temporary thing. I could remove this later. It's the easiest thing. It's not going to be solid because this, these things, they don't, they're not going to be made to last there. But maybe it's going to be good enough for a temporary thing. First I need to remove the solder from these parts, and then I flip it on the other side for the solder parts. For now I'm trying the soldering iron. It's good to use a vent ventilation, use a fan when doing this. I don't know if this is plastic. I think I use it on plastic. So time to clean up. Shouldn't have used this on plastic, but I think I did. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Okay. Solder paste. 